Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Must Love Labs. My name is Alan. On this channel we discuss tips and tools for how to raise, breed, and sell Labrador Retrievers as quality family pets. So if you're new here, you might consider subscribing. In today's video, I've got a real special treat for you. Yesterday, Rosie whelped a healthy litter of puppies. We've got seven, four females and three males. Let's get to it. So we've got some brand new Labrador puppies here. These guys were born yesterday. They just came into the world and they're just now starting to figure things out a little bit. They're so young, the only thing that really works on them is their nose. Uh, they've got a very mild sense of whether they're too uh, warm or too cool, so they'll complain about that. Uh, and if they're hungry or if they're sleepy, they'll complain about that either way. And they do this with the little grunts and squeaks that you hear them making. And all of that makes perfect sense to Rosie. And uh, that's what matters the most. <laughs> so here they are, uh, literally worried about not too much other than just trying to find something to eat and stay close to their mama. They're, they're brand new puppies. Um, their nose works a little bit, like I said. And uh, in a couple of weeks, their eyes will open up. Um, and then they'll start to hear... It kind of goes in that order. They get their nose first, then they get their, their eyes, and then they get their hearing. Um, These little guys are pretty much right on time. Uh, the gestation period for dogs is 63 days. Uh, so, you know, ab about nine weeks. And um, about nine weeks ago, Sam and Rosie uh, had their first tie. So it all worked out pretty good. They're, they're pretty much right on schedule. And um, we were glad to see that. Sometimes they come a little early, sometimes they come a little late, but most of the time, uh, Nature is pretty good at this, and they're right on time, and these guys certainly were. Hey folks, if you're getting value from this video, do us a favor and hit that like button. It really does help out quite a bit. And thanks in advance for doing that. So on November 4th, Rosie's body temperature dropped by two degrees, and that's how we knew she was getting ready to go into labor. At that point, you've got about 24 hours. And sure enough, on the 5th in the afternoon, we started seeing some puppies. Rosie um, had her first boy at 120, a 16-ounce puppy. Uh, and then we had a girl and a boy and two more girls, three more girls, another boy, uh, all about an hour to an hour and a half apart, and that's all pretty normal. That's what you expect when they when they start coming. And um, the weights were pretty interesting. A couple of them are some real chunkers there, 18 ounces. We'll keep an eye on them. Uh, got an 18 ounce boy and um, yep, and an 18 ounce girl. So it'll be interesting to see who ends up being big puppy.
Okay, let's talk about tools for just a minute. The first one I mentioned is this furry baby heating pad. It's round, it sits right in the bottom of this whelping pool real nice. This is a 20 inch, it's fire retardant, it's water resistant, it's very easily adjustable and easy to understand and it's budget friendly. I'm really happy with this. I'll link this up in the description of this video, I'll put you a link to take you right to it on Amazon. You can check it out for yourself. On this controller, we play with it a little bit, and for sitting underneath this whelping pad, the middle setting seems to work out about the best. Uh, keeps everybody nice and cozy, and uh, Rosie doesn't have to lay on it, just the puppies, so it works out. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was these whelping pads. I can't say enough about them. They are awesome. We get them from Easy Whelp. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to this video, take you right to them on Amazon. Uh, we've also got them in the tools section on our website at muscleoflabs.com. Uh, I love them. Uh, we keep several on hand. It, they're machine washable. You just rotate them out when they get dirty. They get sold. You just you take them out, uh, mop the pen out real quick, put a new one in. The sold one goes in the wash. I, I love these things. Whelping pads from Easy Whelp. We use the 48 inch one in the bottom of these whelping pools. It fits perfectly. We put all of our litter updates in a playlist on the YouTube channel. If you'd like to watch the playlist for Rosie's last litter, the holiday litter, I'll put that up right here. And if you'd like to learn more about being a dog breeder, I've got a playlist for that right here. Thanks for watching Must Love Labs. We'll see you in the next video.